quack a lack of there guys how you doing my name is Poet and I'm your host for this video I'm gonna be showing you the brand new diamond camos for the SMGs going one step further teaching you guys a few little tips on how to acquire them yourselves as quick as possible so as you can see there's a handful of camos that are just easily obtainable by just getting headshots all the way up to 100 headshots which gives you the policia that's what I like to call the first phase you have to get 100 headshots with the SMGs before the next set of opportunities presents itself Next up, we need 10 revenge kills. Then we need 50 kills with the CUDA without any attachments. Butt ass naked. Then you need to get 50 kills with 5 attachments and a sight on it, meaning no perks. Basically, all the attachments you can fit on it. Then you need to get 2 rapid kills, which are basically just 2 fast double kills. Then you need 5 bloodthirsty medals with the gun only, meaning 5 kills in a row in one life with only this. That means no nade kill interventions, no specialist kills, nothing like that in the middle. So what can you do to actually influence your chances for getting some of these abilities? It's worth mentioning that the hardest part of the SMG grind for the diamond camo are the headshot phase. Some of them are very easy. The Pharaoh you can find success with, but other things that have a slower time to kill, like the Weevil and the Razorback, you're going to have to teach yourself to actually go with the recoil. What I mean by this is a lot of times you're just going to want to shoot for center mass and then let the recoil take it vertical. You want to start putting in a little bit of damage to the center body to start their flinching phase and then try to finish it up on a headshot. Sure, you're going to get body kills and it's not going to result in it, but you're going to find a whole lot of failure if you only go for the headshots with SMGs. Again, they're also only close quarter weapons. So one major tip that I can give you guys and something that you're going to find to be very, very good, your new BFF are concussion grenades. That is going to be so influential. With the enhanced mobility inside of Black Ops 3, what you do is you load up on a couple concussion grenades, you throw them at the enemy, and then you could pretty much just vault up into the air or slide across because they have limited movement. So you could pretty much just slide straight across their field of view and get right up next to them and walk up on them and just plant it in the ear. It's that easy. One of the best tips I can give you guys are concussion grenades. Also, seeing as how you're trying to get headshots, there's really no need for a lethal specialist ability. Yeah. Kill death is not going to mean a lot if you're actually going for these camos because your kill death is going to suffer. So you might as well set yourself up with one of those non-lethal perks. Something like Vision Pulse that you can activate from time to time and give away the enemy position. It'll act as a temporary UAV. And along the terms of that, I also recommend non-lethal streaks throughout the duration of all of these camos. Because like I said, when you're trying to get those bloodthirsty stuff like that, you can't have any other kills getting in the way because it's just going to intervene with your streaks and ruin it. So you don't want that. So stick to things like Vision Pulse. Uh, kinetic armor wouldn't be the worst thing in the world so things like that for the most part throughout the entire duration of this run UAV counter UAV and that's pretty much it I don't rock hellstorm I don't rock any of that I just run just those throughout trying to get this camo grind one final bit of advice I can give you guys and this is preference to be honest but red dot sites really do help with headshot acquisition again I don't really need them when you can go for the body and get a couple headshots and you can compensate for your spray but when you're trying to get those headshots they do come in handy now pushing on to the other stuff phase two is really easy you need five bloodthirsty medals with no kills in between from outside sources. You need to get double kills. Just going to come very, very easy, especially if you're using things like Vision Pulse. You're going to be able to flank and get very, very aggressive. I will recommend you guys to play objective-type game types, though, when you're trying to get those bloodthirsties because you know where the enemies flock to. You know where the spawns are going to be, so things like Domination, maybe even Kill Confirmed, and it's going to be really, really good to let you know where the massive amounts of enemies are, and you're going to find success with that. But that's pretty much it, guys. My advice is on empty. That's all I can give you guys. Make sure you use a red dot sight. Something like Vision Pulse is going to make this journey so much easier. Running with full teams, obviously, also running UAV and counter UAV. Going to find a lot of success with that. Also, don't be afraid. You're not going to really be needing to use secondaries, pistols, and stuff like that. So do use a launcher of sort that can take down enemy UAVs and counter UAVs. That will also assist you in your grind. So basic information you need to know it's pretty simple smgs are straightforward they don't require long shots or other things that you need to be smart about and use proper scopes with and stuff you will find a lot of success when grinding out these these are definitely one of the easier ones to work with when trying to get the diamond camo but let me know what you guys think down below do you think they're ugly do you think they're cool to me they kind of look like melted pizza cheese or something they're not the most flashiest or most attractive things in the world definitely not as cool as the black ops 2 camo used to be but they're actually growing on me. The more that I use them, and obviously when you're using them, seeing it from this point of view is far more attractive than just seeing it in the menus because it really just doesn't look good just hovering there in black space. But anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for future Black Ops gameplay. I'll be breaking down more tips and advice. Things get a little bit more complicated with shotguns and snipers and stuff. So stay tuned for those. Subscribe and take the plunge, guys. Have a good one.